You all right? About that. Oi! <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Something troubling you? No more than usual. It's just... Yeah, this baby will be coming soon, and I wanted to make something for it. I'm sure she'd like that. Back in the north, families would always make gifts when a bairn was on the way. Yeah, I let the little tykes know they were welcome in their new homes, like. So, what's the problem? Well, the problem is that Ed is due any day now, and I don't know if I'll be ready in time. Is there anything I can do to help? Hmm. You know, there just might be. All right, then. What exactly are we making? A good luck charm. But not just any good luck charm. Not just any. No. One made from the feather of a silver chocobo. <laughs> There's no luck in all the realm, or so we used to say back home anyway. Thing is, they're hard to come by. Had Otto and Karen check with their suppliers, but nothing. I try and track one down myself, only... Only the big day is fast approaching. And that's all you need. A feather. That or the bird whose arse it's attached to, aye. I was gonna start by asking around with travelling traders plying the northern borders. Well, there's no shortage of those passing through Martha's. I think I might make that my first port of call. I'll let you know if I find anything. You're a good friend, Clive. I won't forget this. Can't say I've ever seen a silver chocobo myself, but I have seen one of their feathers. Look just like a normal one, only silver, obviously. Well, grey. Let's hope one of the merchants here has what Gav needs. Excuse me. I'm looking for something. <laughs> oh, well, then I'm your man. <laughs> A silver chocobo feather. Oh, or maybe not. Though you're not the first to mention the bird around here. <laughs> There was a man stopped by the rest not long ago, claiming he was attacked by a silver chocobo. Near some gutted hovel, not far from Eastpool. Most took him for a braggart and a liar, but who knows? Perhaps there was some truth to his tale. We'll see. Thank you. The feller who claimed he was attacked didn't linger here long. Said he was gonna go back and capture it. Prove us all wrong. And that was the last we ever heard of him. Just because the heavens have gone to wreck and ruin it don't mean we have to. How do, traveller? You've the look of a man who could do with a new whetstone? Or perhaps a bawdy etching of the Vicerine? Uh... Maybe another time. I'm looking for a silver chocobo feather. If that's the case, rumours are all you're likely to find. No one has seen a silver chocobo for years. Word is, they were all hunted for their feathers. Some northern nonsense about bringing good luck. <laughs> Didn't bring them much, nor their bows. If any are still out there, I reckon they'll be doing their damnedest not to be discovered. You're probably right. Thank you anyway. The hills around the rest are crawling with wild chocobos. If you're not too picky about the colour of their plumes.
few rooms going, Sparrow Knight. Look, Daddy. Shiny, so bright. Whoever's idea it was to take those... There is a way to we Can I help you with summer? You wouldn't happen to sell silver chocobo feathers, would you? <laughs> I deal in fruit, not fancies. But if it's fancies you're after, I suggest you try Rhiannon's ride. Was a silver chocobo seen there? Oh, yes. If you believe the ravens of a madman. It wouldn't be the first time. A silver chocobo sighted in the hills near Rhiannon's ride. It sounds almost too good to be true, but since I'm already here... Every few years someone comes along claiming they've sighted a silver bow, but the truth of the matter is, there ain't no such thing. You'll find nothing but bloodflies and bandits on Rhiannon's ride, mark my words. Let's go. Can hardly wait. for a change. tracks and these look fresh the chocobo was here and recently perhaps it still is It's all right. I'm not going to hurt you. Just borrowing a feather for my friend. Thank you. Let's get this back to Gav before they change their minds. It was no trouble at all. Still, I appreciate it. Clive, you're back. How'd you get on? Any luck? Any luck, you say?
Crystals crack. Is this what I think it is? Where in the hell did you find it? It's a long story. Right there on the road to Eastpool. <laughs> Who'd have thought it? Everything up there's been abandoned for years. The empty cabin made for the perfect shelter. Though I fear my presence may have forced the poor creatures to look elsewhere. Don't blame yourself, Clive. The blight's right on Eastpool's doorstep. They'd have had to move on before long, even if you hadn't have turned up. They'll find a new home, trust me. After all, that's what us endangered animals do. Anyway, what matters is, you managed to nick us one of their quills before they could run off. And now all that's left is to fix it to the carving. I didn't know you could carve. Mm, reckon there's a lot you don't know about me. Like the fact I'm as good with a whittling knife as I am with a sword. And that bone ember gave me's a dream to work with. What did you say it was from again? An Avis? But it weren't your Avis, Sid. I slew one of my own at last. So all those long nights in the pit finally bore fruit. I'm proud of you, Ember. <laughs> Don't speak too soon. I ain't done my trial yet. There we go. What do you think? I think if you ever hang up your scouting cap, you'll be able to make an honest living. Now will I. <laughs> I should go and see if Ed is awake. Give him my best. You can give it to yourself. Come on. I don't want Gav to give up being a scout, honest. Better if you went first. What with you being the head of the family and all. Ah, me lords. How are you feeling? Well, thank you. Is something wrong? Wrong? No, nothing like that. Uh, uh, what it is, is... Uh, uh... Go on, please. It's beautiful. Did you make it? We did. I, uh, it's from all of us here at the hideaway. Your new family, like. It's a good luck charm. We may come up north when a bairn's on the way. I, I, I mean, a, a baby. To let him know that they're part of the family too. Oh, I, I, ho I hope you like it. I... I don't know what to say. I thank you, my lords. For everything. If there's anything you need, just let us know. I will. Ah. <sighs> Clive, fancy a swift half. I'm thirsty. I could be convinced. Don't you think you've had enough? No, we're celebrating. I'm gonna be a father. <laughs> I think Edda might have something to say about that. Ah, you know what I mean. Bit of light in these dark times. <sighs> Wasn't long after me tenth name day. 
My mum told us she was with child again. <laughs> I was over the fucking moon. I was looking forward to having a little one to lord it over. What with me being the runt of the litter. Thought I'd finally have a chance to prove to the world that I could be a big brother. Imperials came the day she went into labor. Had myself a baby sister. And then I didn't. My whole family gone in a blink while I hid in the cellar like the spineless little arsehole I was. Great brother I turned out to be. I'll never be a leader. And I'll never be a hero. I'm just a daft little dog who comes running when his master calls. I'll never be like you, or Sid, or Jill, or even Toggle. <laughs> Have you finished? Maybe. Do you know why you're our best scout? Yeah. Because you don't need anyone to hold your hand. Without your resourcefulness, your courage, your determination, I don't know where we'd be. Maybe hanging off a cliff like... Uh... That was only the once. Exactly. You learned from it. And here you are after founder knows how many missions stronger for everyone. <laughs> and let's not forget Rosalith. Who was it who freed me from the dungeon? Who was it who ran to Jill's rescue? That would be me. Because you're our brother, Gav. My brother. <sighs> Your brother. Which means that when the time comes, I get your room and your sword. I may have had one too many. You may have had ten too many. I said I was thirsty. Gotta get back to work anyway. After I walk this off. Uh, Clive? What is it? Thanks for, you know, I know. Oh, one of these days. One of these days, I swear it's gonna be me who drinks you under the table. If by under the table you mean wrenching on my boots half the night, I reckon one of those days was yesterday. Ha ha, you think you're so funny. But just wait till we crack open the bottle I left in your chambers. That stuff's strong enough to burn the horns off a behemoth. Sounds like I'll be needing some new boots. <laughs> <laughs>